Can we observe the positions of Bohmian particles? Yeah, of course. According to Bohmian mechanics, the world is made out of particles. Therefore, the particles are in fact the only thing that you can observe. Now, let me stress again that according to Bohmian mechanics, the world that you see around you with your naked eye is really composed of Bohmian particles. And they are really there where you see them. The tables, chairs, stones are all made of particles. If you make a double slit experiment with single particles and there appears a black dot on the screen, then the particle has really hit the screen where the black dot is. In Bohmian mechanics, it is clear what observing a particle's position in a single experiment means, because there are particles in the theory. Now, if you apply Bohmian mechanics to an ensemble of subsystems, that means if you are interested in the statistical behavior of many identically prepared systems, then you find that the statistics of position measurements is described by the usual position operator. This is, of course, the same position operator as in standard quantum mechanics. That means that if you observe a particle's position many times in identically prepared systems, then the position is psi squared distributed. Maybe I should add one more thing. In many physical situations, it's not really necessary to know or to measure the position of the Bohmian particles. In the ground state of a hydrogen atom, the electron does not move at all, for example. This is not very interesting. What is interesting is for example, the spectral lines of a hydrogen atom. So the difference of the energy eigenvalues of the ground state wave function and excited states. In other situations, you might only want to know the distribution of many particles, which is given by the absolute square of the wave function. So most of the times, all you need to know is the wave function of a system. Most of the times, this gives you all you want.